So joins us now is celebrity guru Alice Murphy who joins us live from Los Angeles who has just been to the Oscars show in Hollywood. So hi Alice, tell me about the Oscars. Hi Michelle, <clears throat> well the Oscars have been incredible, the buzz here is just amazing. There was a bit of rain on the red carpet but uh, it didn't dampen anyone's spirits and the glamour has just been unbelievable. Tell me about the fashion. The fashion of course as always, has been amazing. Um, lots of pale colours this year, I've noticed. Um, gold seems to be the big, co uh, the big colour. Um, in keeping with the kind of Oscar theme, I think, um, Sarah Jessica Parker was wearing a Chanel, gold Chanel dress, which was stunning on her. It seemed to be the hit of the night. But she did seem to be saying to a lot of people that the dress was made especially for her for the night, but um, apparently it wasn't. It's been on the catwalk for last season, so embarrassing but it's fine who cares it was gorgeous and um, another color I noticed on the red carpet was plush which is pink but um between the gold and the pink it was a lovely spring kind of feel to the whole red carpet how was the men's fashion the men as always looked amazing and um, Zac Efron was the first person that I saw and he was in Hugo Boss he his hair was spiked up rather than swept across which I actually prefer so he looked lovely um, Tom Ford was another one on the red carpet. It was a big night for him because it was his first, he directed his first film this year and uh, so he was there for that and it was very exciting. Um, a lot of the celebrities were also wearing Tom Ford, so as like Jay Emanuel, Colin Firth and Mark Anthony. Um, so he was featured all over the red carpet. Um, James Cameron had to be my favourite of the men because he had a blue handkerchief in his pocket and his wife was wearing a blue gown. So to get between the two of them, they were matching, and they were going for the sort of avatar, avatar theme. So they looked brilliant. So tell me about the actual show. The show was brilliant. Um, Steve Martin and Alec Baldwin were presenting, and uh, I was told just before the show that they're actually best friends. So this was said to gonna work really well together, um, and they, it did. They pulled it off amazing. They were both hilarious, and uh, yeah, it was a really good start to the show. What was the surprise opening people were talking about? Yeah, this <clears throat> I only heard about this for a couple of hours before the show, but um, people kept talking about a surprise going to happen at the start, so I was expecting something huge. But it was actually just Neil Patrick Harris um, came out and performed a Broadway number, which was brilliant because he's, he's, he's very funny and he, uh, he's actually a very good singer. So he came out and st opened the show, which was kind of a bit random, but uh, it worked really well and uh, it was a good start. Tell me about who presented some of the awards. Well, the person who stood out for me the most was um, Ben Stiller. He came out dressed as an avatar, and the makeup on him was unbelievable. And actually, ironically enough, he was presenting the award for best makeup, which, as he said himself, Avatar actually wasn't featured. So, um, but him and James Cameron in the audience had a bit of a joke about Avatar and everything. And you know, as Ben Stiller does, pulled off. An amazing, hilarious show. Well, which of them? Tell me about the after party. The after party was held in Elton John's. I didn't actually get to go to it myself because I had to fly back straight away. But um, I heard there were lots of A-list celebrities, and um, the after party actually started before the Oscars for people who weren't going to the Oscars. So there was all sorts of people there. Um, Katie Price, Posh. Um, Louis Walsh was actually there, which was crazy to see um, in the papers the next day, an Irish face over there as well. But um, apparently it was amazing, great night, and um, it was said that um, Posh got a little, she let down the kind of, let out her hair as such, and um, she was egging on and drinking games and everything, so I think everyone got into the spirit of the after party. And finally, later on, Des will be in talking about who won what. But Alice, can you tell me the major wins? Who, who won the major? Well, the major win, of course, was um, Jeff Bridges for leading actor in Crazy Heart. Now, I actually haven't seen it myself, but I've heard it's absolutely amazing. He was he was supposed to win it hands down anyway. So um, that was apparently no surprise to anyone. Um, Sandra Bullock, of course, won leading actress, which was brilliant for her because it was her first um, Oscar that she's won and um, she actually won the worst actress award in the Razzies the week before so it kind of just shows apparently she's got a good spirit because she is 
the second actress in 30 years to actually show up to the Razzies to accept her award. So, um, no, but for winning the Best Actress, was re I was really happy and um, apparently she played amazing in it, so that was good. And Catherine Bigelow won something this year, didn't she? Yep, Catherine Bigelow won Best Director, which was unbelievable. It was actually International Ladies' Day that day, I don't know if many people knew, and she was the very first female director to win this award, so it was a great day. And actually, um, James Cameron, director of Avatar, and Catherine Bigelow were married before. They're now divorced, but it was kind of a bit of a battle between who was going to win more, Avatar or The Hurt Locker. It turns out that The Hurt Locker beat Avatar in a lot of things. It got six Oscar and nine nominations. So I was thrilled because personally I preferred The Hurt Locker and um, I was thrilled that Catherine Bigelow won um, Best Director. And the Hurt Locker actually won Best Motion Picture as well. So I think that was the real one who was going to win at Avatar or Hurt Locker. And I personally was thrilled that Hurt Locker won. That's great, Alice. Thanks a million for joining us. Talk to you soon. Thanks, Michelle.